um, at first person to play Tic Tac, say Tic Tac Ho, um, gets a discount. Usually I do like 10% off any item, 20%, whatever you feel like generous. Usually I do like 30% typically, um, just because I want like, I want them to ask questions. I want them to write wish lists, but I do not tell them the discount until like they win. So they don't actually know what they're getting. But this is your golden bread and your butter of the business. Um, personally, I'm a paper girl all day. Are you paper or digital? You're, I feel like you're a digital person. It depends. <laughs> yeah. So choose whatever direction you want to go and then just go with it. Um, it. You Like I said, you can do these digitally. For me, in the middle of a party, I'm trying to pull up that Google form to get their name and info, where if I have the paper, it's like I have their invoice, I have their connect card. They're like married together. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's totally up to you, whatever direction you want to go. You could also like, I don't know, whatever works for you. Um, I just like the connect cards, so I have it. So, okay, go back to my little thing here. So as I come into the shopping room, there's three questions I always, so kind of like I'll walk you through my shenanigans. Hey girl, do, um, uh, do, um, did you have fun? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, do me a favor, what's your last name? And the reason I always ask them what their last name is, because I always, I'm very, really bad. I'm really, really bad with first names. Sorry. I'm really, really bad with names in general. Um, I could tell you your life story. I could tell you where you live, everything about you. But if you ask me your name, I probably won't know it. Um, so I always ask their last name because they never told me that during the party. So then I'm like, oh, thanks, Mallory. Like, then like I see their card with their name on it. Does that make sense? Yes. So um, then I'm like, did you have fun? She's like, oh my God, I had such a great time. I'm like, that's awesome. Did you have any questions or anything that you would, you know, would like assistant on? She's like, no, not at all. I'm like, cool. Um, let's get you some goodies. Um, and a lot of times, depending on the feel of the moment right there, um, well, let me reverse. Let's get you some goodies. Okay. Then she's like looking at our wish list and she's like looking in front of her, like, oh, I see that you have the main attraction. I see that you have this. I see you have that. She's like, oh my God, yeah, I would really, really want this. I really, really want that. I'm like, cool. So then I start like writing shit. Let me put some text boxes in here. Text boxes. Okay. So you got your main attraction. Main attraction. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna make multiple text boxes. Oh no. Let's see. Then you have your price, your quantity. Okay. One ninety nine. Quantity one. Total one ninety nine. Oops. Oops. Okay. Okay. So um, then I'm like, okay, you got the main attraction. Um, and she's like, I need some coochie. I'm like, cool. I don't know why this is going to do this to me, right? Coochie. You get it if it doesn't line up. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just say I, I understand. <laughs> One, um, and then I'm just parting my price. Okay, so I literally just sit there and keep conversating on like, okay, she needs coochie, she needs body do, and then I like ask what scent. She's like, oh, I really love the flirt that you showed. She's like, I'm like, okay, cool. You want to continue layering yourself with that beautiful flirt? She's like, absolutely. And then like at this point, since you don't know the prices, like don't be afraid to just like have that digital catalog on your phone. And that's another reason why I love the paper invoices just because then I know like I'm good. You know what I mean? Um, as far as the info, sorry, I forgot to say this. I usually just put their name at the top. That's me because I know I have their connect card next to me. But if you're doing like the digital catalog and you want to reconfirm their address and write it on there, Maybe that's what I would do too. Just so like if you, well, when you owe them anything, you don't have to go find the Google form. You just have it right on your paper too. I always like to just like mainstream that, if that makes sense. And I always like to double confirm because sometimes I'm like, no, I never put my apartment on there. I'm like, well, that makes no sense. Okay, it's your address. 
Okay, so then, um, so once they add everything on that you want, that they want to add on, okay, that's when I'm like, okay, you got a toy girl, you're definitely going to need a cleaner. Would you like to add on a cleaner? She's like, yep. Let's put cleaning on here. She's like, yeah, absolutely. That would be so silly. And I always like to tell them it extends their warranty. Um, and the reason I say that is because in my eyes, like, if you don't properly clean it and you have an issue in 90 days, I'm not taking care of you. Like, if I know that you're properly cleaning it and properly storing it, storing it. Yeah. I will do everything in my power to make sure that I can take care of you. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then I'm like, um, okay, so you have a toy. You also need a toy tote. Would you like pink or silver? And I'm just like asking her, like, you know, would you mind if I added this on? The secret to the wording there is, would you mind if we added this on? Because she's not going to say no to would you mind. But if you said, hey, do you want to add on a $16 toy tote? She's going to be like, no. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to, the last question I always like to ask when it comes to toys it's my common thing, TLC, toy tote lubrication cleaner. So I'm going to say, hey, how about a lubrication? And she's like, yeah, I just wasn't really, really sure. I'll be like, so what do you think of what I showed during the party? Do you already have like a vaginal wetness? Um, I use the, I show the Euphoria water base, um, the pretty gold bottle. Um, and she's like, yeah, I do actually have vaginal wetness. I'm just not sure if a lubrication is really for me. And that's when I'll go back into the lubrication conference conversation and then she, she's like well sometimes i'm very sore i'm like then you definitely want a lubrication and if she's like well i just don't know if i really want to like spend that kind of money i'll offer the just like me it's easier it's easier to talk down than it is to talk up okay okay so but for the most part i sell since i've switched to euphoria water base i sell more lubrication um one because it doesn't look like a lube bottle all right, so then we've got all the prices. Um, and then some other things that I'm gonna like upsell on too, which there's a lot of different trainings on upsells too. The coochie, I'm gonna ask if she wants an aftershave. Be like, hey, do you, do you would you like to grab that up aftershave with it? Uh, if she's like, body do, I love that flur. I'm like, would you like to layer yourself with flur all day long? Do you wanna do the entire set? Get the body wash, the lotion, and the body spray as well? And she's like, yeah, sure. Just add it on. Okay. Like always make suggestions because they don't know. They don't know. They don't know what the products are. They don't know what connects. They don't, they just don't know. And if they do know, they don't know because they just think they know. Um, also another really good upselling tip that I just learned the other day. Um, if they say, Oh, I would like body do I, um, a great response is perfect. Would you like two for $2 off? It's literally a dollar off each bottle. Yeah. When she's like, uh, yeah, I'll definitely get that cleaning mist. Cool. Would you like two for $2 off? So the lady who taught this class to me, the lady got a box. The customer got a box office too. And just joking, she did it with, to the box office too. The girl bought two box offices. <laughs> she was, and like, she was jaw dropped. She's like, Nicolette, I went from like a hundred dollar order to a $350 order. Cause literally she got two of everything for a dollar off every item. That was it. So two for two dollars off. Okay. Right <laughs> two for two dollars off. All right. So now let's just do some basic math. So I'm gonna pull out the calculator so you can actually see all the math that I'm doing. So 199 plus 22 plus 22 plus 22 plus 22 plus 39. Okay. 326. I need more text boxes. Give me some text boxes. Where we at? There we go. I never thought of doing this on a computer, how I'm doing it with you. So I just want to let you know you're the first person to digitally see it. Usually I have like a piece of paper and I'm just flipping it back and forth. All right. 326. Sorry. That's my obnoxious ring shit. I thought it was I have a ring too. And I was like, where's that coming from? <laughs> I was so confused. So we have cameras in our house because the dog keeps eating all of our doors. So I have security for my dog. Did you buy like the, the bitter spray? Uh, she doesn't give a fuck. She eats that too. The only thing she has not eaten through is painter's tape. So all of our doors, literally, you can see my office door back there. Oh, wait. No, you can't. 
Are you paper eggs to the tape around the edge. So the entire door is covered in paper. Literally, once she eats them, we put panish tape on them, and then she doesn't touch them ever again. I don't get it. Okay. So you can see the 326 is your product total, and then you see the $8 shipping and handling. No matter what size order, no matter whether they get it in person, whether they shop online, no matter, well, like, if you have everything on hand and you owe them nothing, you still pay $8. So something I say during my parties at the very end, I go, all right, ladies, everybody remembers, right? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And they all giggle. And I'm like, perfect. Um, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, remember that stays 100% confidential between me and you. I do accept cash check card, honey. I don't know. A little bit of here, a little bit of there. You can split payment if you would like. Everyone gets charged $8 shipping, whether I have it on hand or not. I prepay shipping to have it on hand for you so y'all can enjoy it this weekend um, or like whatever. Um, and then everyone gets charged tax because we live in America. Welcome. And I always just like make a giggle. And you don't have to like say welcome to America, but like sometimes it depends on like the vibe of the room. Like if they're like, meh, I'm like, welcome to America, you know, whatever. Yeah. So I just say everyone gets charged tax too. Um, and remember everything that you shop, spend, and do spoils the shit out of your hostess. So let's give Sally another round of applause for being such an amazing hostess and having fun with us. So I always say that at the very end of my parties, so that way nobody can say, well, I didn't know I was getting charged shipping. And I was like, well, here we go, lady. Okay. So here is the, the, the kicker of the kickers here. Okay. So um, depending on where you live, you can charge tax on shipping. Okay. So I'm going to literally teach the video. Um, um, in Pennsylvania... Can I charge tax on shipping? So whatever state you live in, obviously just look this up. Can I charge tax on shipping? And here it is, Pennsylvania. If the item being shipped is taxable, the shipping and handling charges are generally subject to tax, whether separated, ta separately stated or included in the sale. If the item being shipped is exempt, the shipping and charges are generally exempt. So in your case, you can charge sales tax on shipping go back to my thing so this makes it very simple now if somebody is like in a state that they can't charge shipping tax you're just going to kind of skip over this part and then do your tax down here okay does that make sense so since you can charge tax you're going to take your 326 and you're going to do plus eight and you're at 334 I'm going to make a little smaller. It's going to make more sense with litter boxes. Three thirty-four. Okay. Now your sales tax rate is 6%. Oh, why did that go? Where'd that go? Why are you hacking along right now, dude? I don't understand. Literally, I don't understand. If you throw up in my office, I'm be really upset. Okay. Six percent. So if you're not sure what your sales tax rate is, literally Google sales tax rate of so Pennsylvania six percent um, sales tax rate for six four one five three. So literally, I like to just do my zip code. And for me, here you guys can see sales tax rate is. 8.85 combined so you want to make sure that you're combining your state like missouri has state county city so add all three up and i'm 8.85 great um okay all right so now you're gonna do your 334 times six percent so if you don't have a percent sign all you have to do is move your decimal place two points and it's 0.06 equals so your sales tax is twenty dollars and four cents um oh there's that there's that number found it 24. Oh, i gotta like line it up at this point because it's gonna fuck it up later when i show you the rest there we go all right, so then you add those two numbers together and it's 35404. 
that is what your customer is paying you. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, like this part, I get. Simple. I, well, I want to show you basic ones before I get to complicated ones. Okay. So we're going to copy all of this. Okay. So do me a favor, write down like, um, actually, um, I got it. One second. Thank you. All right, so now we have, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna delete this stuff and we're gonna just come up with different customers, okay? You already know how to do the addition, okay? So I'm gonna delete this so it's not confusing. Well, I guess I'll just make up shit. Okay, so customer number two only wants a private beach same thing okay um item cost 89 dollars subtotal is uh 89 oops 89 plus 8 i've got to show you basics so i can show you the complicated one so when it adds up it makes sense so you're not like where the hell did you pull these numbers from 97 times six percent 582 plus 97, 10282. Okay, so now we got two customers that shopped. Let's um, hi, duplicate this. Insert page. All right. Now we've got our damn customers. Now we've got the customer who won our raffle. Okay. And so how much do we want to give her off on the raffle? 20. We'll go 20. So give me some items this customer is going to buy. Hmm. Okay. We'll do Let my me favorite. Be the customer. <laughs> my favorite, which is the C B D Healy Lube. C B D Healy Lube. And that's for you tell me the prices. Like I'm totally pop quizzing you right now. <laughs> um Like, I want to say that one's 59 off the top of my head, but I could be wrong. So, so that's what's going to be beneficial to the, the invoices that I'm sending you because they already have the prices on them for you. Um, but if you ever, um, actually, I'll send you a catalog too. Um, I do suggest, like, so literally what I like to do is I take a paper catalog, which I'm going to send you one so you have it. I like to write master on it. And then I like X out any items that like may not be available or like I put stars next to item that like maybe they're on the sale page right now. So when I sell them, I make a little extra money. So like I'll kind of like push those items a little bit. Um, so that's kind of like what I like to do. And then like sometimes I even keep my master catalog. Like if there's items in here that you're like, well, say there's items not in here, like I'll just throw like. A piece of paper in it but like i know it's in my master and i just staple it in there so that way i have it so i don't always have to pull up a digital catalog so i'll slide a catalog in here for you you found it i like the the back order one yeah it's not the like flip book one bear oh, okay. with me my internet service is trash I live in the middle of nowhere. I have like no service ever. Yeah, no internet. Cool. 
All right, it's 49. I'll just tell okay. you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, give me give me some other items that she's gonna buy. You get to be. Um, and that way you'll know the prices as I tell you them too. Okay. We'll do a bottle of coochie, and that one's twenty two. That would you like, my dear? Great French. We'll do that one. And you can even like upsell like something like I don't upsell things that they may not want until the end. I tell them it's like a necessity. But, like this mom, like oh cool. Do you want to grab that aftershave too? And then she's like, yeah. All right, so let's just add this up. Twenty-two. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I usually put like just one and twenty-two. Like I don't write it twice. Like. Do what works for you, okay? Like, I'm just trying to teach you the politically correct way, I guess. All right, let's add this shenanigans up. Um, we got 49 plus 22 plus 24. And let me know if any of these numbers just don't make sense. And you're like, where the fuck are you getting these from? Okay. Again, we can, we can charge tax on your shipping. So plus your $8 shipping. So we're at 103. And then times times 0 0.06, 618. So 109.18. Oh, wait, we didn't give her a discount. She's going to be mad at you at this point. And you're going to be like, oh, fuck, I forgot your discount. Okay. So literally, I just did all that for nothing because we forgot her discount. And I always forget their discount. Okay. And literally, this is what happens to me in the middle of a party, too. She's always like, what about my discount? I'm like, oh, fuck, 20% off. Yeah, so I'm just going to write that on there just so we remember that we're giving a discount on this. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, gosh, I don't know this one. Right. So for me, when I'm doing a discount for someone, I'm always giving it to them on the highest priced item. Okay. So this is kind of, I guess, where it's beneficial to put it in two spots. So the highest priced item here is the CBD lube. So like sometimes next to it, I'll put, oh, let's not do that. So when I'm writing this, I like to put like 20% off. So that way, like she sees that she got the 20% off on that item. Does that make sense? So then 49, Subtract 20% is 980. Subtract. Oh, so it's 3920. Oh, God bless America. There we go. 3920. Okay. So do you see how I do the discount before I do all the other shenanigans? Yeah. Okay. Well, when I don't forget the discount. So 3920 plus your 22 plus your 24 is now 8520. And now we're going to add that $8. 9320. 20 times 0 0.06. Um, so if that obviously simple math, if this was a five or higher, it would round up to sixty. So it's five fifty nine. So ninety three twenty. Ninety eight seventy nine. Okay. You with me on all that? Cool. Now we're gonna do the complicated one. So this is your host. Okay. Do you know what the hostess retail is? Or sorry, let me let me rephrase that. Do you know the hostess rewards? It's no, this is where I get confused. Um they get do they get 30% off after a certain amount? No. So the only thing that you are required to give your hostess only thing you're required to give is 10% of the party sales for free and a free gift 
once their party reaches $250 retail before shipping and tax and after discounts. Okay, so how do you know where the retail comes from? Um, it goes off of the, you can't, I'm pointing to my screen that you obviously can't see me pointing to. Um, so like the totals before shipping and tax. Okay. So all these product totals that you saw me do, and remember I said like always do, I'm going to make them red just so we can really see them. Well, there you go. Um, so the reason that I always like to do all of my discounts before shipping and tax so when i get to my hostess's order i literally just go add all those numbers up okay so when my hostess is still like saying bye to her friends and shit, i go through all my paper invoices and i'm like okay 85 20 plus 326 plus 97. that is the retail of that party 508 20. So let me ask you this. Does this reach over that that free gift cutoff line? Yeah, it's above 250. Okay, again. Is it, yeah, because it's above the 250. So something I like to do so I don't have to keep trying to redo this math is I take this number and I literally just like write it in the upper hand corner, usually, of her party. So that way I'm not like, what was your part? Whoa, ooh, shit. So I'm not like, what was that party sales again? What was it again? And like, I don't, to me, I don't really usually like care about the change. I usually, oh, fucking shit balls. I usually just like write like, oh, 508. Does that make sense? Okay. So she's going to get a free gift from you. So we're going to get rid of this. So see this empty space down here? Yes. This is another area where I like to, my hostess invoices usually are, they, they kind of do look like hot messes, okay? So she gets a free gift from me. Okay. Okay, so I write down what I'm giving her so I don't forget to give her things, okay? Now, she gets 10% of her party sales for free. If her party is $508, I'm sure most of you can do the most mental math, but if you're like, I'm not very good at mental math, you literally just go back to this number and you click times 10% or that 0.1 and she gets $50.82 in free product. Okay, so I go back down here and I write 50.82 free. Again, this is me. I like to write them down and remember she's not in the room right now. And then when she walks in, I'm like, girl, did you have a blast? Did you have fun? She's like, oh my God, I had so much fun. I'm like, are you ready for some freebies? She's like, absolutely. So then at this point, I don't, unless she asks, I usually don't tell her what she's getting free. I'm just writing. I'm like, okay, let's go through your wish list. Get you some freebies, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like naming it off. Now, for example, some people will do like extra incentives. Like if her party reaches over a thousand dollars, they'll get an extra 20% off. Um, if she had for every party that she gets booked, I will give her 20% off an item for each party booked. So say she got three parties booked, I'll write in the corner down here again, three parties, uh, or I'll just say three items, 20% off. So again, so I know what I promised her. Now say before, um, before the party, she had commented on a post on Facebook and you had promised her $50 in free product. When I'm offering big incentives, like $50 in free product, $75 free product, $100 in free product, all I usually traditionally ask of them is five shopping friends, okay? Obviously at this party, she had how many friends shop? Three. Three, okay? It's still a $580 party though. So for me, I'm like, do I give it to her or do I not give it to her? If I booked three parties off it, damn straight, I'm still giving her that $50 in free product, okay? Um, but I always make sure that I disclose that when they're booking the party with me. If she, I'm like, congratulations, Sarah, 
You just earn fifty dollars in free product. All you have to do is have five shopping friends the night of your party, um, and you get that free product. But I'm gonna be honest, fifty dollars in free product only cost us about thirty five dollars. I just made two hundred and fifty dollars and spent thirty five dollars to get three more parties booked plus five hundred and eight dollars in sales. Do you see where I'm saying the benefit of like don't trip over the pennies to make dollars? Cool. And would she have booked if I did not offer her fifty dollars in free product? Probably not. Probably not. Now the fifty dollars in free product is the free gift. She does not that like if somebody says, well, well, she gets a free gift. The fifty dollars free product is the gift. Now, if you offered her fifty dollars in free product, okay, and you did not specify what the product is, so like right now on the sale page, we all have that rainbow sherbet and like a bunch of things. You can come with a goodie bag full of product, a fifty dollars in free product that you paid like fifteen dollars for. It's totally up to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So, um, let's, do you want, um, so I'm going to ask you this, um, do you want me to just keep what I have here and then just do the math for the hostess? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So again, um, we're not moving. Um, I'm going to do all the discounts before I do the rest. Okay. Now the, I'll explain I'll keep explaining. Okay. So the first thing is the free gift. So in this, for instance, which I totally screwed that order all up over here. I had the wrong prices. I just realized that. We're just going to change the names, guys. Well, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Um, so when I do a free gift, if I'm not giving them whatever, I'm going to give them the cheapest thing free, which is... The toy tote. So that's zero. Okay. Next, she's getting $50.82 free. For my simple mental math, I usually just pick the highest item and take it off of that. So subtract $199, $148.18. And then, like, as that's, I'm doing these, I usually that's like for the 50, them. right? That was the 50 you took off? That, correct. So as I'm doing these, I usually just check them off like doop, doop. So I'll take her entire order and then I go through my little discount square over here. I'm like, okay, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Now, if you're really good at math and you're feeling really adventurous and you're like, well, technically if I do the 50 off of these and like you can get the better deal, like that's totally up to you. Like bull tide roll girl, but whatever. Um. So then we've got three twenty percent off. So twenty two subtract twenty percent is seventeen sixty. And again, when I'm giving discounts to my hostesses, I do pick the highest priced items for her, um, because if you take care of your hostess, she's gonna tell her friends, and then her friends are gonna book with you more. Thirty one twenty. Okay. Now. Does this all make sense? Oh, hold on one second. I think it's not plugged in. I just gotta, you're dying notice. Well, I can't hear you. Numbers over here. I'm gonna edit those numbers. Well, now her party total is gonna be fucked up too. God bless America. We're just going to change those item numbers. If you're watching this video, don't judge me. Um, kiss. Ha. All right. You good? Um, so does this all make sense with the mathematics of like all the discounts and shit? Yeah. Cool. So now people like to visually see what they saved. Okay. Now a lot of people will do this different ways. They'll like 
just add up the retail and then like subtract numbers. I like to visually see how it's broken down like that. Again, that's what works for me. That's what I like. Um, and I feel like it's simpler math to do than making sure that you've got the discounts. So I like to add up what she would originally play. So 199 plus 22 plus 22 plus 18 plus 16 plus 39. So she would add 316 dollars. Three sixteen, and then she actually got the discount of one forty eight eighteen plus seventeen sixty plus seventeen sixty plus eighteen plus a zero plus thirty one twenty. She's actually only paying two thirty two. 58. So that way they can visually see the difference. Does that make sense? Yeah. So then if you really want to like, you know, get all fancy with it, okay, you could do the 320, whatever that is, subtract 316. And she saved eighty four forty two. So where it says hostess credit and gift, you could write eighty four or eighty. What was it? Eighty three forty two. So some people put like will do that and did not make it confusing. I write it really big so it covers both, so that way they know it's both. To make it not confusing, you could switch this number up here to the 316. Okay. Okay, now this is where... No, you're fine. So then you proceed down as normal. Um, 316 plus $8, subtract... The eighty three forty two is two forty. What was that number? Two forty something. Two forty fifty eight. Oh, plus America. So then we take that number times by 6%, 14.44. So 240.58, 240.58 plus 14.44, 255.02. That's how much she's going to pay you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes it a lot less scary. Like I was trying to, hold on one second. Can I call you back? I'm, I'm on a meeting. Okay, bye. It was fast and he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> he's live. Um, yeah, I think in my head, I was trying to figure out like, well, how do I, do the discount like how does that come up where does that come off of um i think i was scaring myself so now for say some reason okay so say so see how i did so i, I wanted to add a, like a 20 percent off shenanigans in there so you could see how i did that for the hostess now say mm -hmm. she had three parties booked okay but say i didn't have so like the toy tote is already free okay her yeah. main attraction was already discounted say she didn't have three items that were already full retail that like so say she only had two more items but if they had three discounts it's 20 percent off three items i would say hey sarah you got another 20 percent off what else can i get you and sometimes i'll even glare at their wish list and be like "Ooh, i see you have the box office let's grab you that box office for 20 percent off okay so for me two rules of thumb that i always provide 
one, you cannot double discount. Okay. So she can't use her $50 and 82 cents freebies on the main attraction plus a 20%. I never double discount. Um, and then whenever I'm giving extra discounts, I always say it's on like items. Oh, you have three 20% offs or, um, so like, uh, so on my little postcard thing that I give to all of my hostesses, I'll send you, it's in, it's on our team website. So like my hostess benefits, I like to incentivize them for having bigger parties. Okay. So all of my hostess get a free shopping spree, which is their 10% in sales. They also get that free gift. Okay. But when their party reaches $750, they get 10% off any additional items. Okay. When their party reaches $1,000, I give them 15% off additional items plus 30% off um, PJs and lingerie. $1,500, blah, blah, blah. So I'm incentivizing them to have higher parties with more discounts. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then I also do double freebies on any parties or any orders before the party. So these girls were all at the party, but like say she had three friends who couldn't come. Most people are like, oh, I'll order, I'll order. And she's like, girl, you need to go place an order. I'm going to get double freebies because you can't be there. Like it incentivizes her to work her friends that aren't at her party. Okay. Um, yeah. And they can shop with me or my website. It doesn't really matter. And then another incentive I do, um, I uh, earn any item in the catalog up to $100 free plus 30% off any item the night of your party for each party booked. Okay. So when they, when she has these three, so she got three parties booked. She'll get 30% off three items because three parties booked. But once all three book and hold, she has to message me and she'll get any item up to $100 free. Okay. I've redeemed that once in five years. Because usually they don't hold or they change dates. Gotcha. So this is on our team website, just so you know. Cool. And, and I like, I'll, I'll go through and like, I'll see something. And I'll be like, let me screenshot this for later. This is my so brain. Like my hostess packet. So literally this okay. is my hostess packet. Um, I don't do anything else anymore. I literally only do these postcards. Um, you know, when you go to like the dentist or the doctors, they give you a little card that says your appointment is on this day at this time. Well, I was kind of like saying to myself, like, why don't I give that to people when they book a party with me? Well, that's literally what I did. So it says, says party date and time. And then one thing I make sure that I'm conscientious about is it does not say pure romance really big on it at all. So that way they can hang it on the refrigerator. So that way people will see it and be like, oh, you're having a party. Oh, you're having a party. Or they'll forget to take it down and I'll forever be on the refrigerator. So that's why I ended up doing this because these hostess packets were just getting thrown in the stack of mail. And this is a lot cheaper. Cool. So any questions about like direct ordering, ordering in the shopping room? I think you want me to go over the back office ordering too, correct? Yeah. So like, okay, the party's done. Um, like right now I don't have, I have like, some things on hand for demos so, so i don't demo, have like yep i got you so your demo items so literally you want one bag for your demo item you want to keep your demo stuff in your demo bag like keep your life simple because if you're doing a bunch of parties you don't want to be running around looking like a crazy lady okay so when i'm doing this for them i always take their order and take their money before telling them what i do not have Okay. The reason that I do that, I literally, this is, this is learn, learn from your mistakes. Okay. One time I had a $500 order. I literally had one item that I did not have. She canceled it because she couldn't go home with everything tonight. Now I swipe their card before telling them what I don't have. I finished the entire transaction. Then I'm like, okay, let me go fill my little goodie bag. And I like throw it all in the bag. And if you're like, well, I don't have anything, like literally it's you, it's how you come off. You're going to be like, 
nope um thank you so much i totally appreciate you i will owe you all of your goodies um here's my card let me know if you have any questions in the meantime um it'll be about seven to ten uh, uh i say 10 to 14 business days um don't worry if you have any issues any problems or if you need anything in the meantime just let me know it'll be free shipping up until your items ship that's what I do. I already have to ship in something. I might as well try to get some extra sales on it if I can. I'll even right before I ship items to people, I'll say, hey, Sarah, I'm about to ship out to your items. Was there anything else you wanted to add on? Um, okay, so in the shopping room, I circle whatever I owe. Let me get rid of this fill. Okay. So I just circle whatever I owe people. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to give her a copy of this. And you're going to have the top copy. And if you're like, well, I owe them everything. Get in the habit, okay, of still circling the entire thing. Okay, so the, everything's a habit. You do it how many times it, it becomes a habit, okay? So just circle whatever you owe them. Don't stress on it. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, um, we're gonna insert a blank page here. So this is what I do when I come home from my parties. I literally take all the items that I owe people and all the items that were shopped, okay? It doesn't matter if I had it on hand or I didn't. I'm still gonna make a list of all of it. Why? Because how do they sell butter if they don't replenish their butter? Okay? Um, and a lot of people are like, well, that sounds ridiculous. You have to replenish your store for people to be able to shop your store, okay? And you actually make more money when you re, um, have stock because why? Women like on demand. Now, if you're not going to do a bunch of in-home parties, do I think you should carry a bunch of stock? Absolutely not. Okay. The only person that's like being hurt here is your ego. Let it to the side, push it to the side. It's fine. Okay. So I literally come home and I write down, I go through all my invoices and I literally write down everything I owe people. Okay. Um, I can't read half this shit because it's freaking red. Uh, let's make this bigger. View 100 so you can read too. Okay, so now we have our list. So I have one. Uh, so as I'm doing it, I'm literally just checking off like I need one of one of these, one of these. Okay, let's do little tallies. So I need two main attractions. Why is that there? And obviously this is easier if you just have a scrap piece of paper and you're sitting there with your like your list and you're like doo-doo, doo-doo. Um two water bases anything else double oh all this coochie shit two flirt two do oh. all right i think i got a board right looks good okay so then this is your list this is what i need to order this is what i need to replenish so at the same time, I have all of my outside orders. I also do the same thing for, I have paper invoices for, okay? So when I'm sitting there and it's a weekend sale, I'm sitting there with all of my invoices and I'm literally making a list. Okay, I need this, I need this, I need this. And I'm just going down everything that I need, everything I need to replenish, okay? Something I like to do if I have the money, okay? I'll message any future parties and be like, hey, Sarah, I can't wait for your party on Friday. Was there anything on your wish list you want to make sure that I have on hand for you to go home with that night? Okay. Now, most of the sales on the weekend, they end at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, if it's 1059, I'm not texting her. Okay. I need to make sure I have that order in on that sale because that is more beneficial to me to save that money. Okay. You with me? All right, so now you're going into the back office, yourromance.com. This is where you log in as you, okay? You're going to click the little dude. You're going to log in. Now, this is where I'm going to get real, real, but very confused, okay? If All I, I see is Microsoft Word. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> 
All right, perfect. Yeah, and I can see the website. Okay, now I'm gonna be really real with you right now, okay? If you have a party, so, okay, so say you owe per somebody one thing, okay? And you don't have any parties for like another month. Do not go and place an order on your back office. And the reason being, one, you're gonna, okay, let me reverse my statement. You should always replenish your store, okay? But I find people replenish their store without parties on their books. And if you're not gonna keep putting parties on your books, don't replenish your store, because then you're just gonna sit on the product. Does that make sense? You have to know where you are in your business to fill your store. Well, it's like, I wasn't, I haven't placed like a back order yet because I haven't booked anything. So if I booked a party, I was gonna order like, like coochie sales real fast. Um, I would have ordered that, so I have that on hand. But to be honest with you, I, I would do your launch party and your encore party, okay? I would have a badass demo, okay? I would have your demo, and I would just rock the shit out of that. And I would see how your launch and your encore party go. Get all the sales from that. They know you're launching your business. They know you're not going to have it on hand. And... When you have all those orders from those two parties, then you go and place an order on the back office. One, you know what's going to sell because you just did a party. Two, you know where your demo is. Carry what you show. Lily! God damn it. Dogs. The yeah, that, I see is not working. Does that make sense though? Yeah. Like my first party, I had zero inventory because I don't know what my people want until you actually do those parties. So say for example, like, okay, for example, you, you just did your launch party and then this is what you need to order. Cool. This party was just a, let's go back to it. Oh fuck, where'd that thing go? So it was $508 before your consultant, uh, Clear, clear this. 508 before your consultant, okay? And then plus 316, subtract 8342. That's a $740.58 party. Okay. So do you see how easy, like what I always giggle about too though, how fast did that add up? Yeah. Like when people are like, I can't do an $800 party. I'm like, but you just did. Okay. Um, now if you do say you're at a 40%, so times that by 40%, you just made $300. So see where I'm going with that? Yeah. All right. So, so then I guess my, my next question, which you might be getting to, um, I know you, you sent me a square thing, a card reader. Um, which I have to set up now. Where did okay? When people place their orders and they pay, where does that go? That goes into my account and then I pay. Okay, so you need to sign up for Square. Okay, when you sign up for Square, it's going to have you connect an account. I highly suggest getting a free checking and having that money just go into the free checking. Okay. But you can also, with Square, they now have an option to get a card. Okay. Get the card. Funds are instantaneously available on that card. I think they're instantaneous. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Now, here's the kicker of the story. Okay. If it's not instantaneously available on that card, when they pay through Square, it does take, like, if you party on Friday or Saturday, you usually get it Monday. Okay. Now... Did you just miss the weekend sale? Yes. Okay. Am I going to tell you to go place an order on Tuesday when there's no sale? Hell no. Wait till Wednesday. Hopefully there's a sale. If there's not on Wednesday, there better be one on Thursday. That is why when my customers say to me, how long is it going to take? I always tell them 10 to 14 days. I never, never, ever place an order without a sale. Never. If somebody says, where's my package? I literally say, I am so sorry. Uh, we had an issue with um, uh, postage and there was a delay in the order. 
I always blame it on some postage somewhere along the way because I guess what? Somebody else can relate to that shenanigans already. If I say, hey, I waited for the sale day, they're like, oh, you were just trying to make more money on me. Never, ever, ever say that, okay? These sale days help compensate what we give to our hostesses, what we give as discounts. So when people say, well, I'm giving 10% to my hostess, how am I making money? Well, you're shopping on a sale day and that's just like, that's gonna help you still make that 40%. Does that make sense? Cool. Um, so, okay, sign up for Square at your parties. Swipe is gonna go to the bank account or the card. Something else that you can do, and I only advise this if you are good with money. I did sign up for a credit card when I joined Pure Romance because we did not have sales how we do now. We only had like one a week and I kept missing these sales and it kept delaying my customer's orders and I felt really shitty. So I signed up for a credit card, okay? Every time you swipe a card, you're gonna get an email and it's gonna say, you now have uh, $252.41 being deposited into your account on Monday. When I'm placing that order on the back office, I already know I already made 251, it's coming on Monday. So when I'm paying for that order on that credit card, I literally pay that credit card off on Monday when that money drops in my account. Gotcha. You see how it's like discipline though? Like, yes, I'm using a credit card, but literally I already have the damn money. Yes. Gotcha. All right. So those are my two like things of advice. And as far as like Venmo, Cash App and all that stuff, I don't know if you saw the things going around, but Venmo is going to start 1099ing people. And... Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't want to be the person at the end of that shenanigans because I think it's a bunch of shenanigans because Chris sends me rent on Venmo and like, well, I should say mortgage now, but like, I don't feel like that stuff should be Venmo. Uh, yeah, you know, it shouldn't be. But now they have like the business op options and things like that. So they're really going to be cracking down on it. So my best advice, we get a processing rate through Square. That um, fee is a tax write-off. Literally at the end of the year, you can pop into your square and say, you know, well, were my fees this year, a hundred and some dollars, give it to your tax lady, it's a write-off. Okay, cool. All right, so let's place the big old order now. And we're just gonna place this order as if we need to restock everything. Um, where's that list? There it is. Look, can you see all my stuff? So in the corporate news area right here, hi, there we go. In the corporate news area right here, this is where it will say whatever the today's sale is. Um, you have the app, right? The app will also tell you what the sales are. Um, and sometimes we get emails too. I always just like to double check what it is um, prior to going into it. But to place a big order on the back office, log in, go to orders, place regular order. Oh, God bless America. Okay. I was like, is the system down right now? That is not a good time to be down right now. Um, my favorite way to place an order. My favorite way to place an order is um, by the category button. Let's see if it comes up. No, it's always so slow. It's on mine too. When I do it. Love and affection. I sing I sing love songs to it sometimes. I always tell myself, like we're gonna be great friends today, back office. You're gonna be quick and efficient and we're gonna just gonna be great. I'm gonna stop sharing and maybe that will help. Um, it's also like, I've also learned to like use Google Chrome. Um, it seems to work. It seems to like that better. Maybe. Again, just sing love songs to it. Love songs. Now, okay, back to what I was saying. If I only had, so say like, um, so say this weekend, everybody gets all their items and I owe one girl one thing. Okay. But yeah. next weekend I have a shit ton of parties. I'm like, my inventory is pretty stocked. Like, I'm good. Like, I've got a bunch of parties next weekend. Like, I'm good. But I do need to get that one girl, that one item. 
I'll go to my website and just ship it to her from my website. So I don't like, okay, peace out. Her stuff's on her way. Continue. Gotcha. Uh, do you pay full retail from your website? Yes. You'll just get the commission later from it. All right. I think we're up and running. Maybe. It had me so excited. Well, why this? Thanks. Do you have any questions? I'm a lot less scared. I'll say that. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I don't know what my head was trying to process, but I was like, how do I know what to give them? I think I was just scared to like it's, try to figure it out, but it's not. It's definitely like, you know, and it's just going to like, once you do it once and twice and three times, it's going to be a routine and you're like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. and I know the math seems like it's a lot all over the place. I just like to be thorough in that essence of like doing it by item and then showing them what their freebies were. So then I'm like, girl, you just got $85 in freebies for an hour worth of fun. How do you feel? And she's like, ran freaking tastic. Like, and then she goes and tells her friends, you know? Yeah. Um, and sometimes it's just showing them visually. Like when you leave Walmart, not Walmart, that's a bad example. When you leave Target and they're like, you saved $54 and 26 cents today. And you just spent 205. You're like, I just saved 54. You know, you don't think about the 205. You think about that 54, Does yeah. that, you know, yeah. yep. it's all a mind fuck. Let's be honest here. That's me at old Navy. I spent 150 bucks, but I saved a hundred. So it's fine. Do I need this? No, but I say, so I get it. <laughs> um, and like when you're actually writing them too, it's like way easier to be like saved 8423. Like obviously like, you know, digitally being friendly here. It was actually easier than show. I wish I had, you remember back when we were in high school and they um like wrote on the projectors and like as they wrote you could see it i wish i had a projector to do that do they make them yeah i'm sure they do no I wonder if that works on my phone. Yeah, no, mine was being real slow when I tried. I don't, I didn't, it shouldn't be done. I wonder if it's my internet. My internet is crazy too. Let's see. If what I click on catalog, it works, but if okay. I click on category, it doesn't. All right. Let's, um, it worked on my phone. I zoom in from my phone and, and share from there. All right. Boom. All right. I wonder if I can share two screens. No, you can't. I was like, I wonder if I could share two screens at the exact same time. So a thousand percent, I totally believe this is easier from a computer than a phone, but at least you'll see it both ways. Um, I'm going to put the little list thing up here so I can see the list. Okie dokie. So again, I like to shop by category. I like to do the shop all. Um, I think it's the easiest way to do just to like go down and select, select, select. Um, you can see the little dots here. Um, A is for available, B is for back order, L is for low stock, and U is for unavailable. Um, if it's unavailable, you can't order it. If it's low stock, it's low stock. And if it's back ordered, go to the top, click the three little lines, click orders, click view back orders. 
and you'll see corporate back orders and you'll also see your own every Thursday back orders ship for free. You just have to go expedite them. Um, if you have a back order and you place a regular order on the back office, like we're about to do and it's available, it will automatically ship with it. Okay. So you can see when you do the shop all category, it it's alphabetical. Like it's just so much easier. So let's just order some shit here. So we need aftershave. So aftershave is a Healy product. So it's going to say Healy aftershave. Um, what do we need? Body do. Okay. So now this is where you have to decide in your business what scent you're going to show. I, select, I suggest picking one and showing one and stocking one. Okay. Um, for me, I think the best scent to do that is a great universal scent is flirt. Um, it's, it comes in everything. So when you're showing between the sheets and afterglow and all the things you just flirt. Okay. This is where you get to decide though, do you have the funds and are you doing enough parties to buy six packs or singles? You can see when you look at the six packs here that you're getting a six pack. Well, let me reverse this. This is my buying discount. So the numbers are going to be different. Um, but you can see that you're going to save. Um, so like a body do single cost me $11, where if I buy a six pack, it costs me $59.25, which is about $10 a bottle. So I make an additional dollar profit per bottle. Okay. So let's just for shits and giggles, like, let's just do the six pack. Cause you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do the six pack. Cause we need two dues. And then I just like exit off my list. Cause I selected, we need coochie flirt. We also need, I'm gonna do the six pack. Cause again, we need two of them and that's going to be the scent that I'm going to stock, but we need one coochie dirty French. And I'm like, well, I'm not really going to stock that. And I just don't really have the funds to invest in a six pack. So I'm just going to get one today and that's okay. You know, don't stress on it. Then we've got some cleaning mist. I don't even know where that is. So, and again, you can shop the all like I'm doing, or you can like just search everything individually. I find I like this way too. So that way you're learning the product. So as you're like scrolling, read of like, oh, there's that. And then I'll be like, oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. Where the hell is aftershave? Oh, there's soothing aftershave. We need one of them. Again, aftershave is another one that comes in a six pack. So again, just decide if it's in your budget. Um, something that I like to do with my budget is I call it the three buckets. I'll show you after this about my three buckets. Aftershave, Healy water-based lube. Oops, we need to add that, not erase that. Main attraction. All right, you get it. I'm not gonna go through the whole list. You get it, right? Yep. Okay. Add a bunch of items. Click add to order. Only click once. If you click twice, you know what it does? It adds that shit twice. Just so you know. I've done that with 400 items and it went to 800 items. So then you click the little bag thing at the top and it's going to have all your items. Your subtotal is 365 and your retail is 730. When they're running sales, you know how it will say like, have $900 retail, get 10% off. That's your total retail that you're gonna want that to be at $900 if that per se is the sale, okay? Click checkout. So at the top it says primary purchase of this items, um, customers or personal products, seriously, like no judgment, just select whatever it actually is, okay? Um, you're going to see the different numbers. You're going to see the price and then you're going to see the discount. Price, discount, price, discount, price, discount. When you shop the back office, you're getting your instant discount. Okay. 
So if there's special offers to so say it's at $900 and you get an additional 10% off, as long as this number right here where it says 730 says $900 and it says it would say, it would have to say 10% off here in the earned discounts. Okay. Make sure your shipping address is correct. If it's not, it's hard to change, like beyond hard. Shipping method, I always select standard. I never choose anything else. Okay. Now, for example, this order is going to cost us $46 to ship it. Okay. We collected um, $8 by four customers, right? So eight times four is 32. You're like, oh no, I just lost $14 in shipping. It, it's all going to be a wash. Okay. That's why you want to make sure you have multiple orders together to place these bigger orders. Okay. Um, the more orders that you're placing in bulk, so your outside orders, your together orders, hey, I have a party in two days, like wait for that party in two days to place that order together. Okay. Um, I always say like, I have a three to four day window on placing an order for a party. But again, it has to be a sale day. Donating, totally up to you. Billing. Okay. I keep a card on file, but if you do not, you literally should just like card, add payment. The reason that you have to do this is you can use multiple cards and multiple different, multiple cards to do multiple things. Does that make sense? Like you can split your payment with multiple cards. So once you add your payment, it'll pop up, which I don't know why it's taking forever. Oh, there it is. So then you just put your card information, your billing. Now, if you're like, well, I want to only do $200 on this card, switch that amount to 200, add the payment. And then you have to have a zero balance for it to keep going. I do not suggest using PayPal. Sometimes it's really wonky. It's good luck. Um, these are right here where I like to double check everything. This is my retail. This is my discount. Okay. If you're like, well, I'm at a 40 and it only says 30. That's a problem. Okay. Um, I like to just double check everything. Here's your full breakdown, your product, your discount, your subtotal, how much shipping was, how much your tax was, order, Payments, if you still have a balance, the, the submit button will not let you submit. You have to have a zero balance. Now, for some reason it says negative. That means somehow you did an overpayment. Go back up to the top here and you'll have like a box that says like what payments you did. Just, just delete the payments and resubmit them. Okay, and there you go, submit, done. Once you submit it, you're kind of shit out of luck. I'm not gonna lie to you. So. Um, double check, triple check, make sure your stuff is right, make sure you have everything you want to order. Um, and again, only order in that bulk setting. Don't do individual orders. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is the three buckets. And then I will allow you to be on your merry way. Um, okay. Uh, okay. So, so you remember how you had a $740 party, whatever? Let's imagine that that was a $1,000 party, okay? Um, you're at a four, so you're at that 40% buying discount, so you're gonna subtract the $600 because that's what you need, that $600 to replenish that, that um, product, okay? So you have that $400 profit, okay? So that $600 is what's gonna be what you just placed that order with. If you're like, well, I got some six packs and things like that. Yes, this is going to be a little more expensive and it's going to tap into your profit. But this is where you're going to grow your business. You're going to take your profit and you're going to split it. 150, 100, whatever it may be. Split it three different ways. Your business, your bills, and your why. If you're not building your business, if you're not building your why, and if you're not building, if you're not paying your bills, you're going to struggle. It's always going to be a bog down. So a lot of people will just take this $400 and they always just dump it back into their business. Like, oh, I collected $1,000. I just need to go place an order for $1,000. Like, no, you always need to make sure that you're paying yourself somehow, some way, so you know the business is constantly, um, it's, it's worth your time. Does that make sense? Hopefully it makes sense. Cool. And the reason I like to show people to build their businesses like this, because the only way you're gonna have profit is if you do parties. If you don't do parties, you don't have profit. So then don't put money into your business because you're not doing anything to do your business. Cool. I'm gonna stop.